That was the longest thing ever. Whew, hot now. It's engine build time. So I've just let the valves in. I've got to install valve springs, which I'll do in a minute. I've got to go take this downstairs and clean it all up because I've got grinding paste everywhere. I had a malfunction in the tool. I'm going to set that on fire in a minute. Oh, I am so tired. So tired. It's like half past ten. I've been working all day. I've come home. I've got all my bits sorted. Picked up parts. Picked up conwards, crankshafts. I've done this. I've done that. I'm dedicating serious time now to building this engine. Oh, I guess the good thing about building an engine in the living room is you can have a little chill out. I'm just absolute, my brain is about to explode. I've been gathering parts all week, literally, trying to sort this out, trying to sort that out. Getting my crank, getting this, getting that, getting the head gasket sorted. I've bought some new shinies as well. I've bought some new comrades. Oh, this is the laziest dog ever. Lay down, man. Lay down. Don't even lay down. <laughs> yeah, new shinies. In fact, I've got one in my pocket now. Do you have a look as well? New shinies. You like the shinies? I love these comrades. 200 pound for the set. Comes with ARP bolts as well. These have been race proven. I mean, if I could, I'd have an illegitimate child with each and every one of these comrades. I love them. And I can't wait. I just can't wait for these engines to be done. It's been a long time. But I've literally got, what have I got? Three weeks. Three weeks until Goodwood. And I ain't even got my comrades in my engine. And I've only just lapped the valves in. I mean... Me and Simon, especially me, I've been so busy with work and stuff. It's like 11 o'clock now, something like that, half 10, 11. But I'm sitting on my sofa, just thinking of ways I can seduce this comrade. So, I better crack on, really. Literally got everything, yeah. Balanced, balanced, brand new, painted up fully lubed up got the parts trolley of love everything's been cleaned I've cleaned everything cleaned and I've bagged it all up new shinies got to take these old decrepit rods off the old pistons there to be honest I don't think this engine is not going to make any more power it is literally just a freshen up um, to get ready for Goodwood. It wasn't half 10 last night, it was more midnight, so I packed it in. Well, I'm back on it now. I've been to work this morning, done a few jobs. Now I'm fully on the build. The head's all complete. It's time to put the crank in. Before I put a head on, I might as well just... I haven't really explained the spec of this engine. So 17 is exactly 1740cc, 
0.5 mil bore, which is huge. These pistons are Wussners. I got them custom made in America because all you can buy in the UK is 83.5, maybe 84 mil, no 84.5. So I got them built in America. Ugh. Camshaft, Kent 262, which is hot rod cam. And now I've got these daddy comrades, bunting. And yeah, mega light flywheel, paddle clutch, stage three head, twin 45s. And it's not, it's not the quickest, it's not the slowest. It's all right, it's engine. And now I'm getting really excited about Goodwood. Really, really, really excited. Studs are in, air gasket's on, everything's clean. Uh, yeah, go time. Finally, it's done. Ah, oh, so relieved. I'm so tired. I need a shave and a haircut, but it's done. Fully assembled. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? I'll ring up some pals, see who's about, because I can't lift this down on my own. I wish I could say I could, but I can't. I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully someone will come round to get downstairs in my van to my lock up, uh, pull the escort out, throw it in, hopefully. But all depends who answers their phone, Simon. <laughs> 